Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, this is what we're working on today. It's super sparkly mermaid nails. And this is actually very, very easy to do. I brought this outside just to show you the beautiful sparkle in these nails. Because uh, when I'm indoors, you really can't tell the sparkle. As I move the nail, you can kind of see the sparkle and also the glitter underneath and the beautiful gradient which is a sort of a green gold to blue green to a dark blue at the top so um, if you're interested just keep watching and learn how to do this beautiful manicure so the first step that we want to do is go ahead and paint on the pink and I'm using this pink by uh, Wet and Wild gonna go ahead and list this polish below so this is one layer of the pink and we will go ahead and add another layer of pink to make this uh, nice and opaque so now I'm gonna go ahead and put on the glitter and this is my glitter polish this is such a beautiful glitter polish. As you can see, it has a lot of fine glitters and chunky glitters of different colors. And this is just um, my favorite glitter top coat. And I'm going to go ahead and put it on the pink and you can see how beautiful it is. Let me try to pick up more glitters for you. And the glitters are just absolutely amazing because there's so many different colors and they're different sizes so I'm just spreading out the glitter so that it covers the nail beautifully and there's just so much shine on this right now I'm not sure if my camera is picking up all that beautiful shine but here it is and we will let this dry and we will be right back now this nail is completely dry look at beautiful sparkle on that nail and we are going to use the nail tape which is right here and um, just do a crisscross pattern I've already done this one as you can see like that kind of irregular crisscross some sections are bigger than others I've done this one as well so um, I have the nail tape already I just show you a little bit how I do the taping so I start from this corner to this corner and if it's uneven you can just lift it up and do it over again it's very easy to use and I would just uh, go ahead and tape in this direction first and then do it in the other opposite direction because then when you take it off um, you want to take it you want to take tape off from the other direction first not this direction so that the design stays nice so this part I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, put all the nail tapes on and I will meet you back so here are the nail tapes applied to this nail. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do our stamping. And let me show you, actually do our sponging. And let me show you the three polishes that I'm using. This one is a green with the gold sparkles in them. Uh, this one is like a blue green. And this one is a nice blue. Uh, sort of a darker blue so I have my makeup sponge here and let's just get started sponging so before you start sponging you want to have all your nail polishes open and ready to go and just apply apply the green in this section apply the blue green in the section section and I do like to overlap a little bit so that the effect is more gradient, more like faded. Then apply the dark blue at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and just start sponging. With the um, 
light green at the bottom and of course with the sponging you will have to do two to three coats to get it nice and opaque so this is two coats of sponging as you can see it's nice and dark and opaque so I'm gonna go ahead and use the tweezer to peel off the nail tape so you want to peel off carefully this nail polish is already dry and uh, I find that when you use the tweezer is so much easier and I will meet you back and let you see the result so I finally took off all the nail tape and as you can see the result is absolutely stunning you have the beautiful gradient that turned into small scales and underneath you have that pink base with the really sparkly top coat I think this is really beautiful and of course all we have to do is add a layer of top coat to protect this design and make it sparkle even more and I love how this gradient turned out the green fades into the blue green and fades into the dark blue I hope you like this tutorial and I will see you next time bye